What is purge flow? What is column flow? What is split ratio? Uh, so my guess is we're talking the GC world. So I'm going to switch my hat here, really. Same hat, just different fingers because the fingers get burned on the GC. So um, uh, in the GC world, it's the same as LC in terms of we got mobile phase moving through the column and the analytes will sort of partition between the mobile phase and stationary phase. So in GC, our mobile phase is helium cruising through the column. But in the inlet of a GC, we do some fancy uh, 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 fluidics because the essential job of our injector in GC is to dilute the sample. Now, if you want the deep version of that, go watch my one, one of my videos on split injectors. But a split injector, essentially, we inject one microliter. We split it typically 100 to 1, which means 1% enters the column, 99% goes out to waste. That is purely to, uh, uh, to keep the column happy. The column is a very small column, contains a very small amount of stationary phase, requires a very small volume injection. We can't inject 0.01 microliters, but we can inject one microliter and dilute it 100-fold. And that's the whole idea of the split injector. So um, in a split injector, we have one flow coming in. We call that a total flow. And we have three flows going out. The first one is called septum purge. So septum purge is really a low flow. Let's say we got 100 mils a minute coming in. We got about um, three mils a minute going out the septum purge. It's just a split flow. We uh, should call that split flow. It's just a split stream uh, coming off our helium flow. It goes over the septum, goes straight out to waste. This is to remove any impurities from the septum. Um, so that's the septum purge. It should be set at a small number. If you can set it, leave it alone. <laughs> three mils a minute is fine. Uh, most instruments, you cannot set it anymore. But if you can set it, don't set it, leave it alone. It should be set uh, roughly three bills a minute, anything with zero. Um, so that's the septum purge. And then the column flow is what's going through the column. And the split flow is what's going out the split vent. So typically, 100 mils a minute coming in, um, three mils a minute going out the, the septum purge, one mil a minute going to the column. What does that leave? You know, 94 mils a minute going out the split valve. So the split flow, that, that 94 mils a minute, that would be the split flow. The split ratio is split flow divided by the column flow. It's just how much do I throw away divided by how much do I put on the column? So in that example, it would be a 94 to one split ratio because I'm throwing away 94 for every one on the column. Uh, typically we would use more round numbers. I always start my methods 50 to one or 100 to one. Those are my two favorite answers. It'll work for 99% of the GCs out there. 50 to one split ratio, you're good to go. If you want bigger peaks. So the only reason to change that is if you want bigger peaks, go to a 25 to one. Uh, the peaks are twice as big, go to 10 to one. Peaks are five times as big. So we go down in split ratio to get bigger peaks. We go up in split ratio to make the peaks smaller. Not a lot of examples of that, but if you were to hand me gasoline, neat gasoline, pure gasoline, and ask me to analyze it, the components in gasoline, the, the normal hydrocarbons, there are such a high percentage that it's going to overload by column. So in that case, I might choose a 500 to one split ratio if I'm injecting pure, neat uh, gasoline. So that explains split flow and split ratio. To me, I always think of it as, just think about split ratio, don't think about the individual flows anymore. On the GC itself, we're gonna type in split ratio and it's gonna set the flows for us. So, uh, good question.